air track resonance. In this experiment, a power supply controls the frequency of a motor, and a meter measures the frequency. The compressor blows air through small holes in the track and creates an air cushion. The car glides without friction on this cushion. The car is attached by springs to the motor. With the motor off, the car vibrates at its natural frequency of 3.3. Now, let's see how the car responds when Justin makes the motor frequency much smaller than the car's natural frequency of 3.3. Justin turns the motor on and gives it a low frequency of 2.0. Watch the red tag. It shows us the frequency and the amplitude of the motor. The amplitude of the car's vibration is very small for this low motor frequency. Now, Justin makes the motor frequency 5.1, which is much higher than the car's natural frequency. the amplitude of the car's vibration remains small. Finally, Justin tunes the motor frequency to equal the natural frequency of the car at 3.3. The motor's amplitude has not changed, but the car's amplitude becomes very large. This is an example of resonance.